The water's flowing, it's a Russian, it's a uh, stream in the, the stream. Oh, uh, no item for Wario, because can't afford anything, basically. Though it wouldn't surprise me if he just, like, blew his money on a mushroom. Uh, and the flood is ended. How wonderful. I wish we get a one or two and activate it again. Nope. Uh, going this way. Oh, uh, there's the Boo shop. So, yeah, you could get Boo normally. It's not just through the Boo Crystal Ball. There are Boo shops or areas still on the board. It's just that they're usually very out of the way, so you very rarely get to visit them. Uh, Luigi's got a uh, three. Don't think, who the heck is close to the star right now? Like, I don't think anyone's, like, in any proximity of there. We're just going, like, weird places. Uh, what do we got? We got Manta Rain's a new minigame. Cool. Uh, good. Drive through the rains while swimming in the ocean. Each rain is worth one point. If any enemies hit you, you'll lose points. Move around the water, press A repeatedly to go forward. Gold Manta Rain's are worth three points, so try to grab as many gold ones as you can. I really like the voice that they have Shy Guy, that they give Shy Guy in these older games. I'm not really a big fan of the wah, wah, wah one. Like, this one just sounds like more iconic and stuff. I like how Daisy's just like a disembodied pair of legs underneath because seeing uh, women, women's undergarments would be far too much for our fragile little North American minds to handle. Though, I guess it's more appropriate that we don't see them because I don't trust the, I don't trust our fragile North American minds to not be jerks about it. So, whatever. Uh, and the bloopers always look really weird in this game, like, they're not completely fleshed out, they're like miniature ones. Though I guess mini bloopers do exist, maybe it's just a regular mini blooper. Uh, we got some golden rings right here. Speaking of rings, another another thing, we're just gonna talk about all the things that make me angry. Um, uh, there was a Proton John stream recently, not really something, but, like, he played Night's Journey of Dreams on it, which I was just really bored of watching. I'm not gonna claim Night's Journey of Dreams is a perfect game or anything like that, but... If you want to get my nerves super quickly, then just go ahead and tell me for the millionth time, make the obvious joke of, uh -huh, it's a game that has rings and bad controls, it's like Superman 64, uh -huh. Maybe you're just bad at the game, you ever consider that? <laughs> I'm sorry, just like, I see that joke so many stinking times, like, people think it's so original when they say it, and like, Knights in general, it gets so much flack for like, being accused of having bad controls, but... It's like riding a bike once- it's very difficult to learn at first, I'll admit that. Like, I- I remember I hated Nights into Dreams. Not hated, but like, I just did not have fun with it because I thought it was just too hard. I would not be able to play it when I first, uh, got into it. But I eventually learned it, and it's, like, something you never forget. It's very different. It's not like walking or jumping or RPG or whatever. It's completely different from anything you've ever played before, so it's difficult to get into. But once you get it, you get it, and you won't forget it. So, don't criticize it. Don't think that, like... I feel like people need to realize that sometimes they need to admit their own fault as a gamer before just accusing a game of bad controls. You gotta keep on trying. And if, when I was thinking about that, there are a lot of games that I played back in the day that I probably never would have given a chance nowadays, or like just games that are really important to me that I don't know if I put the time into playing them. Because I know that like I just, I don't have that much time on my hands and my patience is like a lot smaller than it was back then, but... There's some like old third-party games I never would have given a chance back uh, nowadays, but I would give them a chance now just because like they're based off a property of my favorite uh, TV show or whatever, or just these weird little uh, side games or whatever. Would I have time for them nowadays? Like I still haven't played Mario Tennis uh, Aces, and I really wanted to, but I remember I played the heck out of Power uh, Tennis back in the day. So it's just really interesting. Like, uh, have I gotten a have I become a better gamer over time or a worse gamer over time? Like my skills improved or? Have my tastes improved or they gotten worse? I don't really know. And oh hey, time for Bowser's Bigger Blast. Speaking of bad taste. <laughs> so I guess it isn't a complete ripoff because it's not Bowser's Big Blast, it's Bowser's Bigger Blast. And it's the exact same thing. Players press the switches one by one, try not to be the one who sets off the bomb. Just pick a switch and hope for the best. Now it's suddenly Pokemon Coliseum because every time I use an attack or try to throw a snag ball, I always like hope for the best, hope for the best, hope for the best, hope for the best. It's always really crummy when you see that repeat commentary thing that you do only after an editing you'll notice it while you're actually recording oh whatever people enjoy the lp so i guess that's nice and also i'm oh, okay good. i was about to be like oh i'm last on the roulette so i most likely gonna get the switch thing and i'll bleach those up and like it flutters around in front of the screen it'd be hilarious if everyone died before i even got a chance to press up switch or whatever uh and every time we lose a person we lose a switch as well so it becomes more and more down to the wire uh, Wario's gonna go for the yellow one, okay. Yahoo! Yahoo! Hmm. 
feel like Bowser's a fan of the pink, but white seems more unassuming. I'm gonna go with pink. Yeah, all right. And because there's only one left, we couldn't just leave Luigi to activate the bomb one. He has to get a new set, of course. And Luigi's copying my style. He's like, oh, Daisy chose pink, so I'll choose pink. Okay, thank you. And he's like, you, the timer's so slow. Like, Wario, you have the opportunity to run away. And, like, you don't have to run that far, apparently. You just, like, jump off the stage and you'll be safe from the explosion as you just duck your head down. Oh, boy. Let's go with... Yellow. Yes! Okay, cool. Luigi, you got pink or green. What do you want? You want the manliest of colors or the weeniest of colors? He chose the weenie! Hooray for weenies! Finish! I'm so good at video games, guys! Yeah, the oh my god, I don't know, I, I, I know I said this before, but I'm just so happy to see Daisy again, because you don't really get to see her all that often, and... I'm, it's weird that, like, I'm here, because I've been just... Um, it's weird to say, like, I've been dreaming of the day I'd be able to let's play Mario Party 4, but, like... Just putting in perspective, like, I'm at the fourth game in the Mario Party series. It seems like it just came and went so stickin' fast. Like, I remember starting Mario Party 1, it was all weird and being like, Oh, I finally get to Let's Play a Mario Party game, and there's gonna be so many more heads, gonna take forever to get through all of them. But now I'm on the fourth one, and it's just so stinking weird. One versus three, what do we got? Uh, Fish and Drips. This is a new minigame, I believe. Oh, I know what this one is. This one's kind of annoying. We got, uh, fill the tank with enough water for the cheap cheap to swim. Mario, press whatever button appears in order of which they appear. And then we all just have one button that we need to press, but make sure you don't mess up because it will make you lose time. Start! Start! I'm in the middle. Uh, got A. And come on, Waluigi, thank you. It's a big bucket of water, apparently. A B. A B? I think the paper seagulls in the background. A. R. Action replay. L. Is for the way you look at me. A. Is for the... A. B. Is very, very extraordinary. L. Is back to the beginning of the song, so I should probably stop. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like a music -y mood today. I don't know why. But whatevs. There's a certain song that I was thinking of singing. <laughs> like, I'm gonna use it for some sort of intro or outro gag, but like, now that I mentioned it, I can't just like break into it right now. That would not be very professional. Uh, we got 10 corns. I'm still in second. Oh, what? When did Waluigi get a star? Wait, what? I do not remember Waluigi getting a star. Was the first Star Space already gotten? I don't remember that in the slightest. So where the heck am I going exactly? Where is the star now? It's right over there, but where am I? Where are you? Where is Pikachu? Where in the world is Carmen San Andreas? Uh, 9-5. 9-5. Yeah, there's a movie, Chloe, 9-5 or 5 to 9 Oh uh, boy. I'm a film student. I know what films are. <laughs> I feel like I'm a bad, like, I'm a bad film student because, like, I could just not get into old movies. I don't know why. Like, it's not just with movies. Like, even, like, old anime or anything. I don't want to say just because it's old, it's not good or whatever, but I am very much against people who say, like, oh, just because it's old, that means, like, it came first, therefore it's better than everything else. Like, I really don't like that. But still, there are just very, very, very few old shows or movies or things that I like. I'm not saying that all the new stuff is good, because like there are plenty of crummy things that come out today that are crummy. But it's just like two thousand, like early two thousands is like my favorite area, and early mid two thousands is like my favorite types of stuff that comes out basically. Uh, cheap, cheap sweep. I was kind of hoping for uh right or left. Uh, do we do cheap? Yeah, we did. We did the this one. So it's a repeat mini game. Hope we don't have too many uh, repeats throughout this LP. Hoping we'll be able to show off every single mini game. I don't have to do too many bonus videos. Yes, one bonus video for every mini game that's missed. Start. Start. And scoop them up. Wow, that was very very easy right off the bat, or I should say right off the net. 
Let's see. Go here. Oh, wow. I did like a reverse thing and he swam into my net. Okay. Got seven points already. Uh, do that. Come on. Come on. And there you go. Very, very easy game. Down there. Uh, let's see if I could do this. Come on. Get into my net. Get into my net. Get into my fishing net. Just want to get that other gold one. There we go. And oh, I guess you don't get really get all that much slower when you have fish in your net. I thought you did, but you apparently don't. And I know I should probably put these into the basket, but okay then, there you go. Just put them in here. 17, there's no way they could have won. Finish! Oh, we didn't get to see those last three seconds. How sad. Daisy Waluigi, OTP. I always shipped da this is weird to talk about. I always shipped Daisy and Waluigi together, but apparently they uh, Daisy hates Waluigi. Which is unfortunate. How sad the OTP is ruined. Wario Star. We got eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, what turn is it? I'm curious. It is turn eight. <laughs> when I was right going on about eights, and there was an eight on that dice block. Uh, number six. Two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. I think we passed that. And hello. Klepto the Condor is just hanging out over there. I always like just saying his full name. He's like, Klepto the Condor. Uh, well, we just going around town. And the Weege, where is he going? He's going for another, not another eight. This is a very uneventful turn. Unless you just buy something super epic, like a Bowser suit, which does not exist here. Oh, hey, uh, there are a couple things there. A Gad Light, which is new. Gad Light is... Uh, it's an item that protects you from a boo, so if boo comes to attack you and you have a Gadlight, it automatically gets used and you ward off the boo. And then it disappears, so it's very, very useful in that regard. Uh, the item bag that you saw there, it is 30 coins and it gives you three random items. You have no idea what they are until you get them. Every time I get the item bag, I always get like two stinking mushrooms and like a swap card or something, so I never really like to buy them. Uh, we're going to do photo finish again, but as you can see, the uh, photo actually changes image every time, which is cool, so that it's not just the same photo every time, over and over again. Time, time, time. Time and time again. Uh, let's see, probably this way, there we go. Uh, over here, yes, yes, getting all the corners. Let me see the corner, even though that wasn't a corner. Uh, over here, maybe, yes. Uh, phooey, there we go. Uh, go down here. And there you go. Finish! Wow, they, they didn't even get even close. Luigi got one piece in. Eh, one piece, her, her. That dancing penguin. And ooh, ballerina ice skating daisy. Looks very cool. Her, her, cool. Oh, the commentary is going down the drain. Maybe I shouldn't record like late at night when I'm running out of things to talk about. But I'm midnight and beyond. I must record at night because I'm midnight and I always record at midnight. Even uh, if it's like an hour long recording session, the entire hour long video is recorded within a single minute, the minute of midnight. Because that is how Midnight and Beyond goes about being Midnight and Beyond. Or something. <laughs> and Waluigi, not Waluigi, Wario just really wanted to lose more money, apparently. Uh, where am I gonna go? So tell me, do you wanna go? Start over there. Klepto will take you over to the space. But that just takes me down. That's not really helpful. I guess I'll just derp around over here some more. Or not. I probably should have used that Mega Mushroom. I just always not, I don't like using it unless there are a bunch of people in front of me that I can steal coins from. Uh, we got another Mini Mushroom. A mini Mushroom! Oh, Luigi. Oh, I was really hoping he would use the sinking uh, Mega Mushroom and just walk right past the star. Okay, whatevs. Maybe the star will be near me this time. <laughs> I forgot I could do that. Don't stress out. Here's the next one, you guys. Oh my god, poor Waluigi. It's right past him, so he can't get it. And how convenient, he's got 20 coins, so he really sick and missed out. Uh, oh, so I should definitely use uh, Klepto this time around because I'm right in front of him and he'll take me back over to this area. That's cool. Uh, hide and go boom. This is a luck-based minigame. 
uh, who's the one person? It's Wario. Team completes, uh, team players can hide in any of the four cans. The lone player must fire the cans to find them. Wario just picks a cannon, and we just pick a cannon to hide in. You can only fire three of them, though, so it's kind of iffy on whether or not he'll do it. You could hide, you could have multiple people in the same cannon, though, as well, so it could be kind of risky. I always just mash all the buttons at the same time, and then just, uh, I'm left in suspense of who I will, uh, what cannon I'm in as well. It's really cool, the orange shy guys. You don't see them in any other game except for this, like, one mini game. I remember one time, this is stupid, but, um, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, know I do daily favorites, but, um, there was one time when, uh, I couldn't fit everyone into a daily favorites tweet that I wanted to do, so I had to remove someone. And then I was like, I posted a thing, I was like, when you, when the daily favorites post is one character too many to fit everyone, you're trying to decide who to sacrifice. And I just used an image from this mini game, like I just chose someone randomly <laughs> because I couldn't do it, and then I got fired. It was just that was like the qualityest of tweets that I've ever made, just like so stinking funny that only people who follow me would get because they are the only ones who know what daily favorites is, I guess. <laughs> and then the final one. All right, cool. So Waluigi and Luigi were in the same cannon, and they won the game for us. Daisy, yeah. Even though I lost, my name's up first. <laughs> Something kind of funny is that if you don't pick a cannon, then a hole just appears below your feet and then you just fall through it. It's like, well, you didn't pick a cannon? Okay, you're fired. You're out. You're not actually fired because you can get fired out of the cannon. You just fall through a hole. 